So here are a couple simple things that I think can help us all in whatever situation you're in. Because one of the things is we all aspire to be something, but what limits you from getting to where you want to be? What is it you've always wanted to do, but you thought, I can't because of X, Y, Z? Mine was, I grew up listening to Harry Carey and Cubs baseball. Any Cubs fans here? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to be here home now. <laughs> I grew up in Elgin, Indiana, listening to Harry Carey with a transistor radio under my bed. My mom would come to go to bed. My dad would come to go to bed. And I had to listen to Harry Carey or Vince Kelly. Any St. Louis fans with Vince Kelly? <laughs> yeah, thank you. They inspired me for, for uh, sports broadcasting. I wanted to do this so bad. And my college professor in broadcasting school told me, you have a great voice, Rich, but nobody's going to hire you because you stutter. He was absolutely right. I cannot do hard news. <laughs> I cannot, I get too emotional. If someone dies and there's a tragedy, I cannot do a hard news. I cannot do a commercial script. I cannot do that thing that normal guys do. But I got into sports broadcasting and I'm passionate. I talk with my hands, it's terrible. So I got into ad living and free speaking and I, don't know, I found my niche. You need to have a vision for your life. You need to have something that's bigger than yourself to go for. Find what that vision is and don't let anybody stop you. People have told me repeatedly, you cannot do it. In May, I parachuted into Denver to relaunch my broadcasting and speaking career. People literally told me, you're 54 years old, you just had a liver transplant, you almost died, will you please slow down? My vision is bigger than that. 